hello everyone uh, welcome back to my youtube channel so guys uh, this is the topic for today so basics of uh, html for uh, selenium web driver so the question here is uh, why do we need to learn or uh, need to know about html right so let me take you to the uh, script which i have written in previous session so this is the script which i have uh, written in last session and uh, we have created this script on different browsers okay and as we all uh, know that selenium automates web applications okay so take an example of this web application uh, orange hrm we have uh, uh, written a basic script basic flow okay and in a web page like this orange hrm login page whatever you see all uh, whatever contains you see on a web page all are web elements okay uh, which are designed using HTML okay so uh, these are all web elements whatever you can see like this is image and we have text box here uh, this is login button uh, this is a uh, uh, link okay and uh, and in HTML the uh, developer uses uh, tags okay to uh, describe the structure of web page okay tags different tags are have been used okay to construct this uh, username uh, password fields okay text bot box fields or you can say button or uh, this link they have used different tags okay so so to work with selenium web driver we need to interact with all these elements okay because you can see in this script we have interacted with uh, uh, this username field text box right this username so we used one locator called name another locator we have used id id here for button okay so we are not talking to, uh, talking about locators right now okay but we have to interact with to automate the application we have to interact with each and every web elements so that we can perform some actions okay so since this is developed in html so html tags have been used so we should know the basics of html ultimately we have to you know interact with uh, each and every web elements uh, for which uh, 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 very well then we can easily uh, locate the elements and it would be easy to find you know uh, using different locators we can easily locate them right so let me take you to the uh, view page source of this uh, orange hrm login page okay so like this is text box username okay so so here we have different tags like html tags so we'll discuss in coming slides about all these tags okay so just i want to show one thing here we have a uh, input tag for text username okay so here we have different properties like name id okay so in our script we have used different properties like we have different these are different locators like name id uh, x path okay so we should know the basics like uh, what are the different tags have been used to construct that particular element okay we, and uh, uh, which one is parent tag what are their childs okay and uh, what are their siblings so we should know all those tags so here uh, uh, for this input uh, for this text username okay for username field input tags uh, input tag is used okay similarly for uh, link we have anchor tag okay now let's uh, let's go back to the slide okay so html stands for uh, hypertext markup language and it describes the structure of a web page as we have discussed html consists of different elements okay it consists of different web elements and elements tell the browser how to display the contents okay how to display means the the structure of the uh, uh, 
uh, structure of the uh, page is designed using HTML and uh, HTML provides the basic structure of websites so basic structure is designed using HTML or you can say skeleton is uh, developed using HTML okay or is skeleton is constructed using HTML which is enhanced and modified by other technologies like CSS cascade style sheet so to provide some styles we knew we need CSS so CSS is used to control presentation formatting and layout to change the layout to change the format okay and present in a better way we need CSS and another technology is JavaScript so JavaScript is most well known as the scripting language for web pages uh, basically this is client side uh, scripting language and it is used to control the behavior of different web elements and is most well known as the scripting language for web pages okay let's go to the next slide so this is an example of HTML so here topmost we have doc type HTML okay and uh, this is the uh, topmost tag HTML and uh, uh, angular bracket so tag is represented using angular bracket uh, sorry angular angle bracket okay so here this is HTML and uh, this uh, this HTML ends here so this using slash uh, the HTML ends here HTML tag so head is the child of HTML another tag head so head is the child of HTML and title is the child of head head is the parent of title uh, similarly we have uh, body tag okay and body and head are the child uh, children of HTML okay and HTML is the grand uh, parent of title and inside body we have two more tags h1 and p h1 is for heading and p is for paragraph okay so these two are sorry body and uh, head are body and head are siblings okay and uh, this is the grandchild of HTML h1 and p are the grandchild of HTML tag so we'll discuss about all these tags in coming slides okay so this is HTML tags so HTML tags are element names surrounded by angle bracket angle brackets okay so two brackets tag name okay contains here we we'll write our contents here and this is the end tag uh, tag name this is the ending of the tag so we use uh, forward slash here okay before putting the name and the doc type declaration represents the document type and helps a browser to display the web pages correctly okay and let's talk about HTML heading. So HTML headings are defined with the H1 to H6 tags. So we have six types of uh, headings uh, tags and paragraphs. So HTML paragraphs are defined with the P tag. Uh, this is the paragraph. So here we have P opening tag and this is closing tag. HTML links. So HTML links are defined with the anchor anchor tag anchor tag okay a tag as we have seen in uh, this uh, example of login page this is the uh, okay page view source and uh, using this anchor anchor tag this is the anchor tag okay and here it is closing tag and it has one more attribute uh, href okay so the link of that hyperlink oh sorry that link that anchor tag okay so take an example of this one here we have forget your password so this is the link so if you can see in, in this web page forget your password so link is given here right so if you click over here it will go to this particular link Re request password reset code particular page it will go so this is the page okay and uh, 
attributes allow you to customize the tag okay and are defined within the opening tag so always uh, attribute comes within the uh, opening tag and attributes are used to provide additional information about HTML element so basically uh, attributes uh, gives some more information about uh, HTML element okay HTML images so HTML images are defined with the image tag so if you can see here so here we have image tag okay and uh, this is the SRC is the is an attribute for this image image tag okay and uh, yeah uh, we have alt alt uh, to link because this image has uh, image has link okay so when we click on that particular image it should go to this automate automation testing insider.com okay and it has two more attributes width and height so we can have uh, multiple attributes as well in a single tag HTML buttons so HTML buttons are defined with the button tag okay and uh, HTML list so list uh, list means uh, 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 list are defined with your UL UL tag unordered list and order list we have two types of uh, list tags okay and uh, followed by list tag so you can see inside this these are list C C++ Java okay and these are unordered list unordered means uh, it will be displayed it will displayed using bullet points okay bullet or unordered in different order and ordered means uh, numbered order so we have OL list okay and the form element so the HTML form element defines a form that is used to collect user inputs okay the form elements are different types of input elements so inside a form element we can have different input elements like text fields uh, checkbox radio buttons submit buttons and many more probably we have here so here you can see form tag and these are the different uh, input tags inside this okay input tags are there uh, this is for submit button uh, this is for password text username so this is inside form tag okay uh, the input element so inside form we have we can have uh, input tag so the input element is the most important form element okay so the input element can be displayed in several ways depending on the type type attribute so here uh, input type is text input type is radio input type is submit so these are the different types of these are the attributes types right uh, text radio or submit so here you can see uh, like see this is text type this input tag is uh, text here this is for text area right so that is what type is text uh, and you can see for button I guess ID is button login input type is submit type is submit submit means button like uh, when we click on that it should be submitted to and uh, perform some actions okay so that is submit type and uh, the select element another is select the select element defines a drop down list so if you can have drop down list here select options so here we have select uh, but uh, what is the tag uh, do we have select here we have dropped on one second let me just inspect probably we can see through DOM so here we have slack tag probably let me search with uh, this slack tag so here we have slack tag okay 
so this will provide the drop downs and uh, yeah here uh, like this is drop down so we have uh, name cars so drop down name is cars and we have different car values like volvo saab fiat and audi okay so these are the different car names so next tag is div tag so the div tag defines a division or a section in an uh, html document uh, so we can see so many div tags right so these are defined uh, basically the div uh, uh, tag is to define the section particular section or division so the div element is often used as a container for other html elements to style them with css or to perform certain task with javascript so let me show you so at the top we have javascript right so this will be inside so this is not inside a div tag so here here you can see the div tag uh, these are some actions or you can say uh, some properties uh, background color height okay so you can see so many divs uh, to define this particular uh, uh, this is for input type text okay for login success message id is this one okay so this is input type text so this is uh, about uh, div tag so these are all uh, different type of tags in html so this is very basic uh, tutorial for uh, html so going forward while working with uh, different web elements okay we'll discuss more tags uh, while inspecting the elements okay so going forward we'll talk about uh, in the next video we'll talk about different web elements on a web page and their properties like what are the different actions we can perform okay and, uh, and later on we'll talk about html dom in next session after that and later on we'll discuss different locators like id name we have discussed uh, some locators so we'll talk about uh, them in detail in coming days okay so thank you guys uh, for watching have a nice day bye bye